Ideally, we should live in a world which harbours sharing. It's strange. We encourage children to share their toys and food with one another. But as soon as we become adults and enter the corporate world, sharing is suddenly considered a big no-no. Copyright laws are made to protect the rich. If I decide to share some software produced by my company with another company, I would almost definitely lose my job and possibly even be sued. If I decide to buy a CD and then copy and share it with my friends, the music industry would love to get a settlement out of me. Of course, copyright ultimately comes down to one thing, greed. In the past, travelling musicians would go around singing songs they had learnt from others, earning money as they went. Nobody would hunt them down and demand reparations for the illegal use of their music. However, in our modern world, we do just that. We don't like people using our creative works without payment or permission. This attitude results in greedy corporations, hefty lawsuits, and the abuse of innocent people. For example, parents who get sued because their son downloaded a song. Copyright should ultimately be a moral issue. For example, if somebody took this blog post and used it on another site, I wouldn't be upset. It's free publicity. However, if they took this post and claimed that they had written it, well, that's not very moral, and that person is a jerk. But I wouldn't sue them, that's for certain. Sharing ideas is good. It's the best way to get to a common solution, or the best product. Our current protect our trade secrets at all costs society hampers innovation. If we all work together, which we ultimately will, it would benefit society dramatically. Over the last few years, I have taken a keen interest in copyright and sharing and have posted a number of comments to various websites. Here is a couple of them. Downloading music. Do people watch TV for free? Do they pay the TV producers for their shows? Ads pay for TV, right? Do you watch all the ads when watching TV? Or do you change channel, or go to the kitchen, or use fast forward for recorded shows? If I downloaded a TV show with the ads taken out, does this, con does this constitute stealing? I think the producers of music and TV have got to realise that many people are going to download music and TV and it's pointless saying, oh stop it, you're ruining our business, you're a thief, would you steal a car? What they have got to do is find other ways to sell their product ways that people are prepared to do. As a slight analogy, if I set up a shop that sells lollies on the street, but to cut costs I decide not to have a clerk, I instead put a sign saying, please place your money in the box provided, take only the exact change, and then in the future discover that all my product is gone and there is no money, could I really say, people are dishonest, you are stealing from me, would you steal a car? Of course I couldn't. The smart thing to do would be to realise that this selling method isn't working. Same applies to the music industry. I don't know the answer, but I'm not being paid to figure it out. I'm sure there's plenty of rich music execs out there. They should think of a solution. Downloading versus stealing. There's a big difference between stolen goods and downloading a TV show. When stealing goods, you are depriving someone of that item. That is, they are no longer able to use said item. However, when downloading a TV show, you are not depriving the maker, nor the producer, nor the sellers of said TV show. They still have it. So comparing this to stealing is a bit of a reach. Now of course TV mu movie companies will argue that you are depriving them of potential profits. But my question is, would everybody who downloads a TV show have gone out and bought it in the first place? Well, one, many TV shows are free to air, and two, most people who really like something go out and buy it anyway. So no, I think these companies are re realising that their method of production distribution doesn't work in our modern times. So rather than try to change it, they're clinging to their old ways and suing everybody. Sharing society. Luckily, with the advent of services such as Airbnb and Uber, we're slowly progressing towards a sharing economy. Yes, money is still involved, so there is still the potential for greed and abuse but in time will slowly evolve from a sharing economy to a sharing society. Let's face it, owning a car that just sits in the garage 80% of the time, or more, is incredibly inefficient and a waste of resources. A scientist who is forced to keep his cure for a particular disease secret because the company wants to market it and sell it to the highest bidder does not benefit society. I can imagine the day when nobody needs to own a vehicle. We just open up an app on our smartphone 
hit the pick me up button and an automated car will rock up outside our house or office within a minute or two. We jump in, say where we want to go, and then the car drives us there. At first, we just have to pay a monthly subscription fee, which would end up being a lot cheaper than owning and servicing a car, and just as convenient. Eventually, over time, governments will start funding the service, and it may even become free, sharing at its best.